This was originally going to be about Call of Duty Modern Warfare, but I don't really have any footage for that. I don't have any COD gameplay on hand right now. I haven't been playing COD, so unfortunately for my Call of Duty fans, this is more Warframe content. But if you're clicking on this video just to be like, hey, um, screw you, I didn't subscribe for Warframe, my next video will be about COD, and my, actually my next three videos will be about COD. But today, because I have a ton of Warframe gameplay, I wanted to say something about Warframe that's not maybe controversial, maybe it's been talked about before. I'm new to Warframe, so maybe this has already been talked about to death, but I've come to a realization about something that's kind of weirdly positive and I wanted to talk about it. I know Boom starts playing Warframe and suddenly has positive things to say, who knows why that is. The thing is, I have only one complaint with Warframe, and that's honestly just the new player experience. It's freaking terrible. In a lot of ways, in my opinion, Warframe damn well deserved the fact that I couldn't get into it the four, three, five times I tried to get into it. Logging into the game is stressful. There's so many things that have the premium currency icon next to it, and you might want to get some cosmetics, and your color palettes are locked behind a paywall, and you don't know how to earn the premium currency, and you know, you have to grind a lot to get the things that people want to buy in-game for that premium currency, but maybe you also want to keep those things because you want to play with them because you don't have much yet. I mean, yeah, you can sell prime parts for prime weapons and prime warframes, but when you're a new player and if you just got those parts, don't you kind of want to have your own prime warframe? Don't you kind of want to have your own prime gun? Uh, you know, you don't really want to sell your first thing, so it's a while before you can start making platinum without throwing money in the game, and that deters a lot of players. Everybody's new player experience was probably different, so if you have a different one, share it down below. But that's that's the way I saw the game. The game is already incredibly overwhelming in terms of the amount of content in front of you, even though a lot of it might be like, oh, well, you know, the star chart's filled with the same missions over and over again. Yeah, but different tile sets, varying difficulties, and then there's also the dynamic things that happen in those missions, and, and then the stories, and the quests, and the crafting of Warframes, and scavenging for Prime stuff, and then later on gaining focus and all that, it's flippin' overwhelming. And then there's open world stuff you have to do, and that's overwhelming me still. There's so much open world stuff, it feels like, that I haven't even scratched the full surface of. Yeah. So DE kind of created a monster, and maybe the new player experience will be a lot better. When they, when they launch the new player experience, maybe things will be nicer. Maybe the default color palette will be unlocked from the get-go, and you won't have to spend platinum on it. Maybe there'll be some better descriptions of things so you know where to direct your time when you first get the game. What got me into the game was just Mastery Rank. All I was doing before I was like really streaming it or playing, uh, like recording it and putting videos out and whatever, <laughs> I was just grinding for Mastery Rank because what else do you do? I saw weapons behind Mastery Rank and I wanted those weapons, so I grinded for Mastery Rank. So we'll see what happens with the new player experience. But DE... <sighs> Their little monster actually has a positive byproduct. For the players that stick with the game and get into it and push through and earn their way to the top, they become basically their own game mechanic. Because if you're into the game and you power through all the early stuff and the quests, you start selling stuff for platinum, you have so much platinum you don't know what to do with it, you have basically done everything in the game, you have everything you could possibly need, then the true end game starts, which is helping in newer players because that monster in the beginning of the game is so big you really need a little bit of help and yeah there's recruiting chat and trade chat and region chat and you can ask for help and people will help you you can go into public matches and ask if people want to party up and help you do a challenge for Nora or whatever you know they'll do that with you the community is very very kind for the most part at least in my experience but the reason this video is titled DE created a monster and why that's a good thing is that that monster encourages the community to go back and help people vanquish it. Now maybe you vanquished that monster on your own without any help. Wouldn't you have liked help? I mean, so many people are jealous of me because I get gifted things as a new player to the game that's streaming it you know, often and talking about it a lot recently. So I'm gifted weapon slots, I'm gifted Warframe slots, I'm gifted you know, color palettes and skins, Warframes themselves, primary weapons, and you might think, well, that's taking away from your grind. The game has a lot of grind, and if you take a chunk out of somebody's grind, that's not doing them a disservice. In fact, you're propelling them to more fun content, in my opinion. You kind of get them through that early game slog, and that's really cool. 
if the opening of the game was super giving and you could just kind of play it on autopilot and you didn't need to look up guides and go to the wiki and find out what everything does, then the community wouldn't have to come together to usher in new players and be a help to new players. And I think that's why I have such a positive community experience. If this was a crafted concept by EDE, then that's really impressive, but I feel like it's just a byproduct of having kind of a crappy opening for their game. The opening hours of playing Warframe is a slog. It's just a damn slog, and it just takes so long to get anything done. Warframes take forever to craft, getting catalysts and reactors, the potatoes, they're, they're, it's hard, it's hard. And if you think, well, it's not hard, well, then at least give me this. It feels hard, it feels daunting, it's overwhelming. It might be encouraging and fun, but it's also overwhelming. And some people have jobs and kids, and some people do other things, and they don't have, like, six hours a day to play, and they don't have four hours, they don't even have three hours to play a day. So Warframe is incredibly daunting to get into. You might say, well, then the game's just not for them. And yes, I would agree, except for the fact that the community is so willing to help new players progress. DE basically created a monster, and the community, instead of going, fuck this monster, they go back and help new players take it down. They gift weapon slots and color palettes. They gift you a Warframe that you maybe would have needed, you know, hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours to get. And maybe you're thinking, well, that takes away from the grind. Again, some people have lives, man. Some people play other games. Like, I'm enjoying Warframe right now, but when October comes out, I have two big games to cover. I'm not gonna be able to play Warframe all the time. Do you think I'm gonna get to Hildren before 2020? It's not happening. So I bought Hildren with my discount. Did you think I was gonna get Baruch within the year? Not happening. I have things going on in my life. So if someone gifts me Baruch or Nidus, that's just fun. That encourages me to play more and level them up and have a new experience. It's like, hey, you're really behind in the game. You have like four years, five years of content to catch up on. Let me take a small chunk out of that for you. But then I am already getting to the point where I'm helping out newer players, which are my friends. And this might be heresy, but I got gifted Inarus and Haro, two Warframes that you can just get by grinding and doing their quests. And it's not hard in the sense that you know, it might be tedious, it might take a while, but it's not hard. But even though I was gifted those frames and it kind of saves me that grind, I'm still going to do that grind because my friends don't have those Warframes and I want to help them get those Warframes. So even though I'm still in what I consider to be early game, I've just completed Second Dream, I'm just working on the prere prerequisites for War Within, I'm already going back and helping out friends that haven't gotten certain things. They want to get Frost, they want to get Rhino. Well, I can help you grind for that. I know how to get that. You know, I have powerful weapons, I have powerful Warframes, I can help you get to things that you don't have. I might already have it. I might already have done it a hundred times, but I look forward to helping somebody so that they get something new that keeps them interested in the game. So, it's kinda nice. It's like, if you lived in a small village and a dragon came in, you have two choices, run from the dragon or work together to take it down. If the grind is represented by a monster, then new players are overwhelmed by that monster. They don't know what to do and they might run from it like I did. Once they get into it, once they get their feet wet, there's players that are just excited and eager to help. So if you're trying to get into Warframe, join my Discord, ask for help. There's people in my Discord on PS4, Switch, PC, and Xbox, and they'll be happy to help you. Go into region chat and say, guys, I need help, I wanna get a Warframe, I'm, I'm grinding towards Frost, let's say, and I want to farm his stuff, but I don't have a Warframe slot, can somebody help me? Somebody will help you. Don't be a panhandler, but the community is eager to help new players if it keeps new players invested in what is really, essentially, a great game. It's one of the best farming simulators I've ever played. So, this long spiel is over, I kind of reiterated it like three times because I wanted to cement what I'm saying. I'm saying the early game sucks, but if it didn't suck, then the community wouldn't come together to help new players, and that community interaction will keep players longer than any sort of game mechanic will. The game could be flawless in every sense of the word, but if the community is cold and not really inviting, then you might not have an emotional or personal connection with the game like you would if the community was welcoming and kind. 
What's really gotten me into Warframe is not just the smooth combat or the fun grinding and farming and the feeling of progression, it's the fact that the community tries very hard to make you feel like family. And I appreciate that above most other things in the game. And especially as a YouTuber, as somebody that makes their content off of video games, really, a community like that is a godsend. So DE created a monster, and if they didn't, then no one would come together to beat it. So yeah, common goal. That's the end of this video. I will see you when I see you guys. I hope you guys hear what I'm saying. If you like my perspective on this, leave a like. If you have a different one, share it in the comment section. I'm sure you guys will be respectful, and I will talk to you later. Goodbye. Uh, my chair just fucking popped again. <laughs>